Hey folks, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a controller in Void Crew Early Access. You can use Steam Put enabled in order to do this. So let's set you up now that we have the Steam menu in front of us. I'll go to Void Crew in my library, I'll right click, I go to properties on the controller. Here it is, enable Steam Input. You've got three options here, make sure enable Steam Input is selected. Now here's an extra step you have to do if you have an Xbox controller. If you're using an Xbox controller, go to your Steam settings, hit settings, go down to controller here, and then scroll down a little bit. Xbox extended feature support driver. Go ahead and install that if you haven't done it. Mine says uninstall because I already installed it. So let's go now into the game. I think we're ready to show you what we can do. I'll tab over there. Here I am at the helm. If you're a pilot, you're familiar with this. And also, again, if you're watching this tutorial, you're already flying around. You're probably already a good pilot, but just mashing all those keys on the keyboard is not doing it for you. So let's take a look at the settings that I've already done, and let's take a look at my controls. So we go to the Controls tab and Settings. We scroll down to Pilot, and I want to show you some of the changes I already made. Change view is one. We were familiar with that. Here's a change. Move up is S. That's like pulling down on the joystick to go up. Move down is W, that's nose down. Move left and right, strafe left and right is Q and E. Move forward is left mouse button. I'll show you why I did that because in, in any shooter game when you hold the right trigger down, that's usually to fire. And so on the PC, that's the equivalent to left clicking. And then move backward, right mouse button, I think you get it. Turn left is A to rotate, turn right is D to rotate. So with that in mind, let's open up the Steam input controllers. So here we are, the controller settings. You hit shift tab to open up the Steam interface. Click on controller settings. If you did it right, and if you've got Steam input enabled, you'll see this. If not, you'll just have to enable the input, restart the game. Here we are. Let's look at the layout I already have. You can, I can give you a tour of it. Here's the strafe left key, which is Q. Strafe right key, which is E. Those are my bumpers. Uh, right mouse click is my left trigger, which is reverse. Then right trigger is my left mouse click, which goes forward. I just showed you that in the menu. Also take a look at my directional pad. One is the third person, first person view. Middle mouse click is my ping. P is the logbook. X is so I can request help, usually for those engine trims down in engineering. Let's go back now and I'll show you how to edit this yourself. Click on edit layout here. Let's go to the bumpers. Left bumper, we want to be strafe left. Now for you, if you've never tampered with this before, the default is something like weapon select, previous weapon or next weapon, but I renamed this. So now if you wanna change what the left bumper control does on your controller, click here, and then here are all the options set to you. You can make it a mouse button, you can make it a keyboard button, you can make it a numpad button, whatever you want. I'm actually showing you this. You could take this to other games that don't have controller support and make yourself happy. And if you wanna use a controller, go for it. So here we are on the keyboard. I'm gonna make my strafe left Q, I'll click it. And here's a bonus. I renamed this to say strafe left. You can click on the cog here for settings, hit rename command, and let me type it in again so it shows up. Strafe left, hit confirm. Boom, now we have some razzle dazzle strafe left. Let's do that for strafe right so that we can get some practice in. I'll click here. I'll make sure it's the E key. Then I hit my cog. I hit rename command. Let's call that strafe right. Razzle dazzle. It's also just good to be organized, right? And then you'll want to go over to your D-pad. Make up the one. Make down your middle mouse click. Make left your P key for the logbook. And then make right your X key so you can call for help. And that should get you started. Now I'm hoping you're smart enough, I'm gonna assume you're smart because you're here watching this tutorial and you wanna learn how to be a better pilot. You can go ahead and customize this however you want. You don't have to do my settings. This is just how I like to play with other games I've played like Grand Theft Auto, Pulsar Lost Colony, you know, how I fly ships in that game, plus how I fly planes in Grand Theft Auto. It's kind of a mix of that, that's what I'm used to. So let's back out of here. I'm gonna hit Shift Tab. And now let's exit our settings. Let's go to the helm and try it out. Now let's, oh, gotta turn on the ship first. Gotta turn on the helm, excuse me. So here we go. It's not gonna go anywhere if I don't do that. I've already charged up our boosts or our thrust boosts. And let's hit first person. Now I'm picking up my controller. I'm pressing up on the control pad. All right, that's our first victory. We changed the view. Let's go ahead and rotate left. Left stick, nice. Right stick, we're rotating right. 
If I press up, I should be nosing down. Looks like I'm nosing down. If I pull back, I am nosing up. We got some Star Fox action going on here. The right stick does rotate around the camera, so that's still good. Now we wanted to make sure we can thrust forward. Right trigger, boom, we're going forward. Left trigger, we're going in reverse. And last but not least, I hit left bumper, I strafe left. I hit right bumper, I strafe right. Now I am ready to be an awesome pilot doing all sorts of maneuvers, strafing, hitting my boosts, going up, going down, all at the same time. And I've got much better control because I'm on a controller and I'm not mashing like three or four keys at the same time. That's kind of what I was doing when I was on the keyboard. I'm like, hey, what do I gotta do to get this controller working? Anyway, I hope you like that. If it was helpful, please guys, I'm a new channel. If you like and subscribe, that'd be helping me out. You'll be encouraging me to make more stuff, make you better at games, and also just have a good time with you while we're playing with them. Thanks again for watching. Captain out.